Somebody came, this girl came to me in Boston. She said, I left Islam. She said, I left Islam. I said, why did you leave Islam? And she said, because of Surah Al-Rahman. I said, why? why? What does Surah Al-Rahman do to you? She says, in Surah Al-Rahman, Allah begins with Ar-Rahman, that He's so loving and caring and merciful. And in the middle of the surah, He starts talking about hell and how people are going to burn and how people are going to be tortured. How can Allah that is so full of love and rahmah torture people? How could He do that? And I had a long conversation with her, but I'll just share one thing with you. The, the description of Jahannam in Surah Al-Rahman is one of the most terrible descriptions in the whole Qur'an. The following description is rated R for graphic words and seriously scary content. You will listen to those words when people are being boiled alive and then when they're being boiled, they look at the fire on the other side and say maybe the fire is better. So they leave the boiling water and they run towards the fire. The fire burns them so hot, they can see the boiling water. They say, no, I should go towards the boiling water instead. Oh my God, what a horrible, horrible description of what is going to happen in Jahannam. And does it scare you by the way? Does that scare you at all? Because it scares me. And as soon as you get scared, what does he say? وَلِمَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبِّهِ جَنَّتَان Whoever got scared of standing in front of his Rabb, he gets two Jannahs. The whole point of scaring you was to guarantee you Jannah. There's a whole point. He scared you and said, did you get scared? Okay, then you get two Jannahs. SubhanAllah. Even when he scares you, he gives you something good. This is what Allah does. We don't do that. We like to only scare people.